Three D audio is gonna Sony be the game in the world of generation. Pretty sure Tech Mobile has a speed run. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Mostly Podcast. It is like four a.m. and it's been five days since I've done the video because I've been over the. So I started a new streaming schedule over the weekend. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because I really gotta start streaming more, and it's you know. Um, it's been hard to squeeze streaming in like the the youtube i can do i can try to do pretty much every day uh it's not too hard because you know uh, like if i can get a day or like if i can get a day it'll probably have to be it'll probably have to be friday where i can just get 10 hours to myself i can record like a thousand videos and just have them but it's just so hard to get a day it's like you know, I work, I work every day. I work today. You know, I'm just up early because I'm, I'm up late. You know, clocking at five, so I get up at four every day just to have an hour to myself before my entire day is siphoned from me for making money, you know. That's why the job, you know, it's all jobs, really. Nothing you can do about it, you know. And that's why my voice sounds like this because it's, it's, it's unbelievably, unbelievably early. And, you know, I don't mind. It, it is what it is. I, uh, I wish I could sleep in. <laughs> to tell you that much. So, what can you do? You know, you hear my mouse clicking in the background. That's that's my my mouse, not my work mouse. I uh, my work computer. I have this cool, as I mentioned in a different podcast, I have a cool little setup. Oh, Diablo Immortal got delayed to 2022. Jeez, you know, isn't that something? So for anybody who's waiting for the uh, that game, I mean, I've seen. I was watching a bunch of streamers play it. Like I was watching a whole bunch of early access stuff for it. I mean, it doesn't look like the worst thing in the world. It it looks fine. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't look too bad. It just looks like Diablo 3 with less stuff. That's all it looks like. So, that's not too bad. Like, they infused a lot of the skills into... Just into different skills, I guess. Like, a lot of the runes... Like, in Diablo 3, there was runes. and So, like, say you have a singular skill, and then it's like... You get five runes, and those five runes make the skill something else. So you have one skill plus five runes, so that one skill is now six skills, which I think is a great way of handling skills. A lot of people don't like Diablo 3, I'm realizing, in the ARPG community. Or they just burnt out on it, because it has been years now. One of the others, I guess. Still, though, it just feels weird. Yeah, I mean, Diablo is awesome. Um. Yeah, I I suspect. Uh, I don't think Diablo's Immortals pushing back has anything to do with the current reckoning taking place over at Activision Blizzard. I think the game just wasn't ready. Uh. So, I'm, uh, oh, Grime came out. I'm thinking of doing a um. Like a, not even a let's play, but like, I record myself playing it and I'll talk about like I did for Hollow Knight. But, like you talk about one man short video, we've talked about them all. It just with the, the package it comes in. So unlike Hollow Knight, the like grime is more of a Souls like game. It has a stamina bar, drains when you evade and or attack. Sound familiar? And uh, like the item and gear, so even this gearing system screen looks similar to Souls. It has this cool. I don't even know what I'm going to talk about grime right now. We're going to do a grime. We're going to do. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to do a. Uh, we're going to do a grime one. Not right now. But soon. We're going to do a grime, grime cast. Because, you know, whatever. The Valve and AMD partnered up. Oh. 
Valve and AMD partnered up and uh, they're just improving the Steam Deck. I'm really excited for this little machine, man. I hope it does good things. You know? Because, you know, the Steam Machine failed, so they're making it mobile now. And we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? Oh, Rainbow Six um, Extraction. That game looks really fun. It looks like get GTFO, but just Rainbow Six. And it got pushed back. So. So now I'm worried that it won't. I don't know. I, I just hope good things for these games. All these games announced. I hope good things for them because, man, games aren't making it. Games that I think should be making it. So I don't know. Uh, hold on a second. I got a work-related thing. I'm gonna pause you guys. So yeah, I mean, I just I'm just worried about these games in general. Like, uh, what's that one? Splitgate. Everyone loves Splitgate. I haven't even played a single match of it, but everyone's like, dude, it's Portal meets Halo, man. It's like the best thing ever. And like the devs had to take it offline a while back because it's too popular, and it's like early, early access. It's like alpha, 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 you know. And uh, over the weekend, the uh, the the queue for a match was ninety minutes. Can you believe it? And uh, yeah, it, it's server. It can't handle this many people. <laughs> like yikes. And uh, one of the engineers went to TikTok to explain the situation to open. He, he explained it away like it's like a small restaurant opening and that the team simply can't buy more tables. It, like if there's nobody to hire the waiters and chef to feed those extra mouths. So basically they're saying like they're a small company. They're not EA. They don't have access to a legion of service to run this, host this online game. Because service costs money, and bandwidth costs money. Yeah, you know, I don't, I, look. Here's the exact quote. The rate of growth for our player base is faster than the rate we can increase server capacity. We're working on a long-term solution to greatly increase server capacity to well over 100K, but this takes time. So there you go. Um, the, uh, they opened up a, a split gate status Twitter account. Now, Outriders did something similar in the very beginning. I think they still have that status page up. It's supposed to launch this month. But with the server thing, you know, I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. Take Two is announcing a new game soon, and it's going to be out early 2022. So, what will that be? The Marvel XCOM game, right? That everyone knows about already? That's not a secret? Or will it be something else? I don't know. Gearbox, um, they confirmed that early 2022 will be the release for uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Which is a spinoff of the DLC for Borderlands 2. Where Tiny Tina did like a Dungeons and Dragons sort of thing. It was like to help her cope with Roland's death. So this is it, this is a game that takes... This is another campaign that she's running in that game. I guess it takes place sometime after that. I'm not sure if it's before 3 or during 3. I don't know. But it's a spinoff. It's Tiny Tina, everybody's favorite Borderlands character. And uh, it's Dungeons and Dragons, so it might be fun. The cinematic trailer doesn't offer much in the way of gameplay or how it'll play, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what do I know? Uh, that Amazon Prime Lord of the Rings show is finally coming out. If if you guys like. Amazon TV. I haven't. It's Amazon, me, dude. Amazon. The only thing I know about them recently is like their game, The New World, was burning graphics cards. Like it was like 
literally melting them. That's all I knew about them recently. That, that in, in the gaming world, at least. Like, it was like, yeah, man, shit is shit. I think they released a patch or something for it, but I never downloaded it. Because I was like, well, I like my computer a lot, and I don't want to lose it. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and not download this new game from them. You know what I mean? Oh, shit, I'm over the time. Alright, guys. Uh... I'll upload this today because I really needed to get episode out. It's, it's a really lazy, tired episode because it's 4 a.m. But uh, it's been five days and that's unacceptable to me. All right, guys, see you next time. Thank you for watching.